Good afternoon to our dear learners and listeners of Davao de Oro, especially to our grade 6 pupils. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. We are so happy to be with you as we learn, explore, and enjoy on this radio program. This is your School and Air Science Grade 6. We are your radio teachers for today's session. Teacher Tati from Makuhite Central Elementary School. And Teacher Marvik of Gayab Elementary School. We hope that you are all now in your comfortable places and eager to learn new lessons. How are you feeling today? I hope you feel great. Just sit back, relax, and listen to our 45-minute lesson in Science 6. At this moment, I want you to get your Science 6 module, Part 2, Module 6, Lesson 1, Ecosystem, Tropical Rainforests. And at the end of the session, you are expected to identify and discuss the interactions among living and non-living things in a tropical rainforest. Do you have already with you your modules? That's great! This module was designed to provide you with fun and meaningful opportunities for guided and independent learning. We have some few reminders in using this module. Number one, use the module with care. Do not put a necessary mark and marks on any part of the module. Use a separate set of paper in answering the exercises. Do not forget to answer what I know before moving on to the other activities included in the module. Number 3. Read the instruction carefully before doing each task. Number 4. Observe honesty and integrity in doing the task and checking your answers. Number five, finish the task at hand before proceeding to the next. And number six, return this module to your teacher once you are through with it. And so, to our dear pupils, welcome to the Science 6 Alternative Delivery Mode module on Ecosystem Tropical Rainforests. Are you now ready to listen to our new lesson this afternoon? That's great! But before that, we will have to open first our module on page 2 for the exercises What I Know. This activity aims to check what you already know about the lesson to take. Kindly use a separate sheets of paper for your answer. Direction. Read carefully and choose the letter of the best answer. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Number 1. What are the things needed by plants to make their own food? Again, what are the things needed by plants to make their own food? A. Water, chemicals, and oxygen. B. Oxygen and carbon dioxide. C. Oxygen and chemicals. D carbon dioxide, soil, and sunlight. Number two, what kind of interaction is shown when worms live in the guts and flesh of a fish? Again, what kind of interaction is shown when worms live in the guts and flesh of a fish? A. Mutualism B. Commensalism Letter C. Predation D. Parasitism Number three, what kind of interaction is shown when monkeys in tropical rainforests compete for food with other animals? Again, what kind of interaction is shown when monkeys in tropical rainforests compete for food with other animals? A. Mutualism B. Commensalism C. Competition D. Predation Which of the following represents the ecosystem? A. Living community. The ecosystem interacts with non-living. B. Living community. Ecosystem interacts only to non-living. Letter C. Ecosystem interacts only to the living community. Letter D. Living community interacts non-living. Number 5. Which of the following pairs of organisms shows commensalism? 
Again, which of the following pairs of organism shows commensalism? A. Butterfly sucking the flowers. B. Ferns attached to a tree. C. Flatworms in coral reefs. D. Snake eating a rat. Number 6. Which of the following describes a canopy of the rainforest? Again, which of the following describes a canopy of the rainforest? A. Composed of trees that are 130 to 180 feet tall. B. About 59 feet and consists of trunk of canopy, shrubs, small plants, and trees. C. Consists mostly of fungi, insects, worms, and litter from taller trees. D. Has slender trees from a dense platform of vegetation with 60 to 129 feet. Number 7. Why is producer important in an ecosystem? Again, why is producer important in an ecosystem? A. It is the source of food to the consumers. B. It is an organism that eats plants. C. It breaks down organism into smaller particles. D. It is a series of feeding relationship. Number 8. Blank results from the interconnected food chain. Again, blank results from the interconnected food chain. A. Consumer B. Producer C. Food web D. Biotic component Number 9. A reef that stands between the open sea and a lagoon refers to Again, a reef that stands between the open sea and a lagoon refers to A. Barrier reefs B. Fringing reefs C. Coral atolls D. Coral reefs Number 10. Why is there a need to protect and conserve the mangrove swamp ecosystem? Again, why is there a need to protect and conserve the mangrove swamp ecosystem? A. It is home to animals like jaguar, monkey, and owl. B. It serves as breeding or nesting grounds of fishes. C. It protects sea animals like sponges, mollusks, and crustaceans. D. It provides livelihood to the farmers. This time, let us check your answer and find out how far have you known about ecosystem. Tropical rainforest. Are you ready to check your answers? Answer for question number one. Letter D. Carbon dioxide, soil, and sunlight. Number two. Letter D. Parasitism. Number 3. Letter C. Competition. Number 4. Letter A. Number 5. Letter B. Ferns attached to a tree. Number 6. Letter D. Has slender trees fra form a dense platform of vegetation with 60 to 129 feet. Number 7. Letter A. It is the source of food to the consumers. Number 8. Letter C. Biotic component. Number 9. Letter A. Barrier reefs. And number 10. Letter B. It serves as breeding or nesting grounds of fishes. Really raise the hand if you got a score of 5 and above. Excellent! You're all great, but as mentioned earlier, that this activity aims to check what you've already known about our lesson for today. We must explore and learn more about ecosystem, tropical rainforests. This time, let us go back to your module on page 3, lesson 1, ecosystem, rainforest. Are you now ready to listen? Try to look around. What do you see? Do you see living and non-living things around you? Do you know what are the living and non-living things? Yes, we will help you understand what are living and non-living things 
as we go along with this today's lesson. Living things and non-living things interact with each other in a tropical rainforest ecosystem. Living things include plants and animals. Non-living things include soil, air, humidity, water, and sunlight. And now, open your module on page 4. Let us try to answer what's in. Directions. The following are found in tropical rainforests. Classify them as living and non-living things. Write your answers in your science journal. We have tropical shrubs, trees, carbon dioxide, sunlight, oxygen, and birds. Again, we have tropical shrubs, trees, carbon dioxide, sunlight, oxygen, and birds. When we come back, we will check your work. The Rajo Z Spella program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arkikon's Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. back and now we will check your work under living things we have trees tropical shrubs and birds again under living things we have trees tropical shrubs and birds and for non-living things we have sunlight oxygen and carbon dioxide for non-living things we have sunlight oxygen and carbon dioxide did you classify it right? Very good! Have you gone to a forest? How will you describe this ecosystem? How do living and non-living things interact in this ecosystem? So write your answer in your science journal. Ecosystem is an environment where both living and non-living things exist and interact with one another. This interaction enables the survival of living things and affects non-living things. Example of ecosystem is the tropical rainforests. Living things that can be found here are trees and composed of plants and animals. Non-living things include soil, air, humidity, water, and sunlight. Rainforest has different layers namely emergent, canopy, understory, and forest floor. Emergent refers to a trees that are 130 to 180 feet tall. And canopy, on the other hand, has tall slender trees from a dense platform of vegetation with 60 to 129 feet of the ground. The understory is about 59 feet and below and consists of trunks of canopy, shrubs, trees, and small plants. The forest floor is home to animals like jaguars, tigers, and cassowaries to which thrive in a deep shade part of the forest where plant life is thin. This is because only a small percent of sunlight gets through the thick canopy 
an understory and reaches the forest floor. Organisms like fungi, insects, worms, and litter from taller trees that fall on the forest floor can be found here. Producers provide food for the consumers which include herbivores plant-eating animals and carnivores flesh-eating animals. Herbivores provide food to the carnivores. Producers include trees, shrubs, and other plant life in the forest. Feeding relationships like food chain and food web occur among species in the forest ecosystem. Food chain starts with producer, a series of consumers and decomposers. Food web results from the interconnected food chain. There are different organisms living in this ecosystem which interact with each other. There are interactions that exist among the organisms in a tropical rainforest. Commensalism is an interaction where organisms live together without harming one another. For example, like in a picture, orchids is attached to the trunk of a tree without harming it. Mutualism, both organisms benefit in the relationship. For example, a bee or a butterfly suck nectar from a flower and the flower reproduces. Competition is an interaction where organisms compete for survival. For example, grass, shrubs, flowers, and trees grow together in one area where they compete for source of food, sunlight, soil, nutrients, and other things needed for their survival. Predation is a kind of interaction in which one organism kills smaller organisms for food. An example of this is when a snake eats a rat for food. Predator usually organisms which are stronger, bigger, and fiercer compared to prey. The Rajo Z Spella program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arkikon's Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies. Mackenzie Builders, GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. Have you learned something new today? Yay! Very good! At this moment, let us open again our module and turn it on on page 7. Prepare your science journal and ball pen and let us answer the activity, what's more? I will give you 15 seconds to answer the exercises. Directions. Read carefully and answer the following items. Write your answer in your science journal. Number 1. What are the interactions that exist among living things and non-living things in the tropical rainforest? Again, what are the interactions that exist among living things and non-living things in the tropical rainforest? Number two, discuss interaction between plants and sunlight in a tropical rainforest ecosystem. Number two, Discuss interaction between plants and sunlight in a tropical rainforest ecosystem. Number three, what will happen if producers will decrease in a rainforest ecosystem? Again, what will happen if producers will decrease in a rainforest ecosystem? 
Number four, are the interaction among living things and non-living things important? Why? Again, number four, are the interaction among living things and non-living things is important? And why? And now, let us answer your work. For number one, the interaction that exists among living things and non-living things in the tropical rainforests are mutualism, predation, commensalism, and competition. Number two, the orchid is attached to the branch of a tree without harming it. They will live together with harming each other. Number three, if producer will decrease, the consumer will decrease or die. Number four, yes, interactions are important for the survival of organisms. Did you all get the correct answer? Excellent! And to wrap up our significant learning for today, please open your module on page 8, What I Have Learned. Your task for this activity is to complete the paragraph. Choose your answer from the word inside the box. Then write your answer in your science journal. Let us read all together the paragraph. I have learned that the blank is an environment where both living and non-living things exist and interact with one another. The different layers of the rainforest are blank, 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 and blank. Blank is a series of feeding relationship, while blank is an interconnected food chain. Blank is an interaction where organisms live together without harming one another. For example, the orchid are attached to the trunk of a tree without harming it. In blank, both organisms benefit in the relationship. Blank is a kind of interaction in which one organism kills smaller organisms for food. I will give you 10 seconds to answer. Are you done? Now, let us read the paragraph again with a complete answer. Ready? Now, I have learned that the ecosystem is an environment where both living and non-living things exist and interact with one another. The different layers of the rainforest are emergence, canopy, forest floor, and understory. Food chain is a series of feeding relationships, while food web is an interconnected food chain. Commensalism is an interaction where organisms live together without harming one another. For example, the orchids are attached to the trunk of a tree without harming it. In mutualism, both organisms benefit in the relationship. Predation is a kind of interaction in which one organism I hope that all of you have learned something new about our lesson today, Ecosystem Tropical Rainforest. We have a lot more activities and exercises for this module, but we don't have enough time to do it. Therefore, it is your task to continue answering the remaining parts and exercises in this module. You will begin on page 8, What I Can Do. You can write your answers in science journal or notebook. Don't forget to read the instructions before answering the following questions. Use separate sheet of paper for your answer. Again, read the directions carefully before answering and submit your answers to your teacher advisors. And for your additional activities this week, turn your module on page 9. Write your answers in your science journal. And if you are through, you can submit your work to your teacher advisor. Just wait for their further announcement as to when they will collect your module and answer sheets. If you have any difficulty in answering the task in this module, do not hesitate to consult your teacher. Always bear in mind that we are you are not alone. 
We hope that through this material, you will experience meaningful learning and deep understanding of the relevant competencies you can do. Looking forward for our next episode on Science 6 School on the Air program. Tumutok lang po tayo sa 88.5 Z Radio. That's a double the oro, Z square na, Z guradong masaya. masaya. Till next time, this is your teacher Tati. And teacher Marivik saying, study hard, do good, and, and do life will, will follow. Bye! Rajas Escuela Executive Committee The School's Division Superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Sasso 5 Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Roben J. Viponte Members, Cecilia Morales, Dr. Hilda A. Opeña Dr. Arlene B. Lim, Dr. Eldicase B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangi, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medard T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lorely E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land D. U Donna D. D. Bolfer Mary Rose N. Resma Riven Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banias Social Media and Packaging Team Christian and Hara L. Martesho William R. Ranara, Joan T. Escoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Estanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Lee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Araiz.